for page one. When you look at that, you see faculty, you know what should be there. Let's begin with number one. Uh, let's begin with the passport. The passport size is the big passport size. There are two passports to be put in record file. The first passport is the beginning of the document. The second passport is the end of the document. The first passport is the big size passport. While the second passport is the photo card passport, the smaller size. So for this first passport is the two times two, which is the big one. Now, let's go to number one. For number one, uh, jump. you put jump registration number as number one, jump score as number two. Number three is access code. Access code is that code that you find on your clearance document. First, your clearance document, your acceptance letter, your acceptance fee payment slip. Your acceptance fee payment slip. On your acceptance fee payment slip, you will find an activation code. It can be found in two places on your acceptance fee payment slip or on your acceptance date on your clearance data page. Acceptance fee payment slip or on your clearance data page. On your clearance data page, you will see it because you use it to activate your portal, you use it to also request for clearance. That is what you use, that's what you write there as access code. Course of study is the course University of Benin gave you. Please do not put your department, put your course. You may be, you may be giving a history and international studies department, but in history and international studies, there is history and international studies, and there is international studies and diplomacy. So please do not make a mistake to put your department than the course. The course of study is very important. Please check your course of study. You can, the course of study can be found on your study course in your COFA. Again, mode of entry is either UTME or direct entry. Please do not write DE if you are a direct entry student. Direct entry is JUPE by JMB, A level, OND, NC, uh, anybody who came in without writing the UTME exam is direct entry. Please do not write JAM. JAM has two entry modes. And then finally, matriculation, matriculation number. Matriculation number will be given to you after matriculation day. So please do not submit your record file until after matriculation, when matriculation numbers will be issued to students. It will be, it will be foolishness and wrong to do so. Quickly, for uh, personal data, you will see first name, middle name, last name. Please follow it like that. Don't use your head and say, let me put my son name first. Please, your first name is your name. Your middle name is your alternative or your optional name. Why your last name is your son name. Take note of this. If you are married, put you are married. If you are married status, is that single or married? Just put single, married, or divorced. Single, married, or divorced. That's, that's the two. Uh, year of marriage, if you are married, if you are not, just put single. If, you, if year of marriage, ignore it. Leave it blank. Date of birth, write it. Your place of birth went from your uh, your place of birth went from your uh, local government of birth. Place of birth is that where you were born. Uh -huh. If you you can't know the particular town, you can know the city. Write it there. Uh, your sex, your nationality, your state of origin, your local government of origin, your permanent address is your maybe. Your address where you where you stay before you come before you came to the University of Benin. That's your permanent address. Or if your father has a house he has built in the village or he has built in a particular place, that particular address where your father has built or your mother has built is your permanent address because that's where people can refer to. Why your university address, if you are living off K, write the address in a coastal din or Sasoge, BDPA, and all the other places, Oluku and all the other places. But if you're on campus, write the hostel you are staying. Is it block of flat? Is it Keystone? Is it Hall 1? Is it Hall 2? Uh -huh. Is it uh, staff quarters? Write it. Email address, phone number. Your next of kin, you know what to do about your next of kin. Your next of kin is the person they can call. So fill your next of kin details there. Then previous school attended. Please put your primary school, your secondary school. If you are a direct entry student, put your... Uh, uh, the, the institution you attended is IGMB OND. Please put it there. Very important. Put from when to when. Your, your primary school was from when to when. 
your secondary school was going to win. Now let me let me say something here. On your secondary school, please and please, where you got your certificate from is your secondary school. It is not where you spent the six years of secondary school. Even in your primary school, where you got your primary school living certificate is your primary school. Even if you didn't spend it, they just your mother, you went to a school for six years, and your mother carried you from there to go and write primary exam in another school. That school you got the certificate is your primary school. Your secondary school, that school you got your certificate is your secondary school. So when you get a certificate, for example, you finished school in 2018, but you could not get your white certificate until 2020 in another school. Back, backtrack 2026 20, years back to get your start year and your end year. Very important. And then your previous employment. This one is for people who may have um, um, this one is for people who may have worked somewhere. I will get to a point where they will say, how are you paying for your school fees? I will explain that in the next page. How are you paying for your school fees? In that one, you need to say if you are paying as an in-service person, if you are paying as a private person, that some people who are, who are working in the University of Benin, yeah, they are schooling in the University of Benin. They are staff, they are not teaching staff, but they are going to school because they want to upgrade. Those persons, universities, they want paying their school fees. And so their school fees is paid by the school. Not private, not scholarship, not anything. So it's in service. I will explain that later. So these, those kind of people must put where they are working before in this place. And if you yourself, you have been working somewhere, for example, you have finished your OND and you're working somewhere, put your previous employment. But if you don't have a previous employment, it's not compulsory. You leave it blank. Now, for the page two, date of first admission is when were you first admitted. That can be found on your application slip your jam your pursue me application slip you will see that remember your jam first gave you admission and then your application porter jam kofa your uh, pursue me uh, kofa change from submitted to created and from created to admitted take note it changed from uh, uh, submitted to created from created to admitted that date where it changed to admitted, you will see it on your, um, what do you call it, on your admission, on your application slip. Check your application slip, you will see your application records. The last one you see created, that was when you became a student of the University of Benin officially. So, uh, pick out the date, you will see the date there. Pick out the date and write here. If you are a direct entry student, please, if you are a direct entry student, the second slide is for you. The B part is for you. You have gotten admission somewhere before. The year, the, the date you got admission in your previous school, which is OND, BSC, NCE, all those ones, the previous year you got it. Write it there. Go and look for the application date when they gave you admission letter. That admission letter of your previous school for these students. Look for it. Check it. You will see the date the admission data was issued. That is your date of admission. Source of scholarship. Are, is, are your parents or you paying your school fees? Loan. Did you borrow loan from the bank or somewhere to be paying your school fees? Bursary. Is it that it is your state that is taking care of you? Scholarship. Is it that it's a private individual or a government institution that is sponsoring your scholarship? Taking that bursary and scholarship is two different things. Bursary is when you're part of a state. Scholarship is when you pass through a process and a, an institution or a group of persons or a person decide to help you by sponsoring you. And lastly, in service, are you schooling, are you working in University of Virginia as a staff and therefore also schooling there? That's, the, that's where you should pick if you are in that category. Very important. Membership of student union or that society. This is where you put your uh, department, um, department, our association, uh, Law Student Association of Nigeria, um, Engineering Student Association of Nigeria, Mechanical Engineering Student Association of Nigeria, um, me, uh, uh, Medical Student Association of Nigeria, Nursing Student Association of Nigeria, those names, put them there. This is also where you put your fellowship, uh, Scripture Union Campus Fellowship, uh, Redeem Christian Fellowship, uh, Nigerian. Uh, uh, fellowship of uh, evangelical students. This is where you also put it. Or 
uh, what we call student union or other societies. Any society that concerns students and is within the campus, put, don't put the one that's outside the campus. Don't put your church. Your church is not part of the campus community. Good. That's why if your church has a campus fellowship, use it. But if your church doesn't have, don't put your church. Extracurricular activities, do you play football? Do you play volleyball? Do you do you do one one activity outside campus or those sport activities? Put them there. Proposed course, the course you want to do. What do you what, what do you want to do as a career for me? Proposed career out of the course you are studying. That's why many persons don't know this. Many persons don't know what they want to do with the certificate the university is going to give them. So Uniben is saying you need by now you should know what you want to do with the certificate even before you start. So when you're starting now, what do you want to do with certificates? What where do you want to work? What is your pursuit in life? Put it there. Now, your pre-university application is your WAEC, your NECO, your GC, your NAPTEB, your NABIS certificates and results. Fill in the subjects, fill in the dates you wrote the sub each of the subjects, fill in the grade you got for each of the subjects. The two sitting fill the two. Please take note of the dates. If you can, if the best way to solve this, we will say, how do I know the dates I wrote each subject? Please, if you still have your timetable of the exam you wrote, the timetable of the exam you wrote, or you can Google it and get the timetable, it will be more accurate. But if you can't get it, you really tried and you can't get it, you can just put the dates, the same dates, repeatedly. You can just say, uh, June, for some, you know that some were in July, June, 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 and then put about four, July, July this, July this, July this. But if you know the date, just put the, the day, the month, and the year. The day, the month, and the year. Very, very important. You will see where you are to sign. Remember the same manner. Please, the beginning of this document in the first page said when you want to write your name, your first name, your middle name, and your last name. Please follow it again in this part. In the next page, which is the back pages, I will explain to you a different way to write your names. But please, in this case, follow the same way you put it in your the first page. So write it in the second page. Your first name, your middle name, and your last name. Very important. Okay. For the back pages, you will find where you will see acceptance forms. The first thing you would need to note is your passport photograph your passport photograph your passport photograph your passport photograph is the mini one this one is the photo card size please remember the first one was the normal size which the second one is the photo card size so please the photo card size here and staple it please don't go and gum it don't go and gum it i repeat don't use super glue on it staple it because stapling would can be unloosed but gum, if it wants to be unloosed, we damage the document. Now, straightforward, put your the first place registration number of candidate, your jam registration number. Second one is your full name. Take note. In this case now, it is your son name first. The University of Benin is careful to mention it. But I told you there are two ways. The first way is first name, middle name, last name. The second one. The second style is son name, first name, and middle name that will end it. The first style, your son name ends it. But the second style, your middle name ends it. First, uh, son name, in this one, your son name first, your first name, and then your middle name. And then your correct address, your residential address, the same one you put on the first page of the record file. Then acceptance declaration is first put your registration number, your jam registration number, and then write the date you are filling the record file. The date you are filling the record file. Write the date. Or you can simply write the date you will be submitting the record file. So you can leave it empty until the date you will be submitting the record file. Then you write that date. Or because of stress, you will not forget. Just write the date the day you are filling the record file. It does not cause any harm. Now, for the next place, put your course. University of Benin has offered you admission to the uh, May to me for, you put the course, the next you put the department, and the third you put the faculty. Take note, 
the course, the department, and the faculty. The course, the department, and the faculty. There are some there are some faculties where now it's the same thing we just write. It is for law, faculty department of law, faculty of law. The same thing everywhere. But there are some their course is different from now. The next page. The next page is still starting with names, but this time it has a it also has a unique way to write it, different from the previous two. The first one on the very first page of the record file is what we call first name, middle name, last name. The uh, second to last page of the record file, which was the last page we discussed not too long ago, is son name, first name, middle name. Putting them in capital letters do not matter. If you want to put them in capital letters, no problem. If you don't want to put them in capital letters, no problem. But in this one, they put the names on two different lines. The first line is that it carries your son name. The second line carries your other names, which is your son, which is your middle name, your first name and your middle name, and any other name that can be that you have if they are found in your document. And one other unique thing is that it must be in capital letters. It must be in capital letters. These particular names on this particular page eh, must be in capital letters. And then the faculty you are, remember, those of you in medical sciences, you are not in any, your, your faculty is not called the faculty, it's called the school. Please don't make a mistake. Don't follow other people to write faculty. It's write school, those in school of medical sciences. You are in a school, not in a, you are, College of Medical Sciences. I think it's a college or a school. Please take note if you want it's called a school or it's called a college. Not all of them is called a faculty university of Benin. Your department, your year of admission. You know the year of admission. Your own is 2021. If you are in 2022, you write. Maybe this video may be useful for others. And then your level. Your declaration oath, read the declaration oath, and then put your name. The name you have to put is in capital letters and you will start with your son name. Follow this instruction for this page again. Start with your son name and in capital letters and then sign and put it. Please don't go and write the name of your head of department. It is not your job. It is not your job. I, I know him, so let me write it. It is not your job. So don't write it. Leave it. Your head of your head of department when you submit your record file to him will fill it, we sign, I will put the date he received the record file. Finally, on record file and how to fill it are the documents you must attach to the record file. After you fill, the documents will be attached, stapled, and attached to the record file. The first one is photocopies of all academic credentials. Photocopies of all academic credentials, your key academic credentials are five. One, your O-level result. Certificate, if it is WAEC, and statement of result, if it is NECO. Two, JAMB admission letter. Three, JAMB original result, uh, or JAMB result slip. Four, COFA applicant slip. That is the one, or that is the slip you got when you applied for pursuit TME. It carries your application data and score, and pursuit TME score. And five, your COFA clearance slip. These are the five academic credentials you have to put in your record file. Number two is your clearance or eligibility. You get it from your faculty. So when you get your eligibility, that's why you cannot submit your record file until you get your eligibility. Get your eligibility slip signed from your faculty officer and attached to your record file. Thirdly is your letter of provisional admission, the one that Uniben gave you, which we call a Uniben admission letter. Attach that one also. Your guarantor's letter and your acceptance letter should also be attached. Your birth certificate or your age declaration should be attached. Your local government of origin should be attached, although it is not inclusive, but um, it is wise to just add your uh, local government of origin. 
and lastly add your affidavits of non-membership of uh, secret court and your affidavits of good conduct one other thing i usually like student adding is personal data on kofa student personal data on kofa it can be found you, you notice there's something on kofa that anytime kofa goes into maintenance and comes back you discover that they will tell you it is outdated outdated Unibank seem to want it uh, of all things in the site to always be updated so they set it to always update to always ask students to update it whenever kofa goes into maintenance so you can print it also and attach very very important so quickly as i wrap up this video i would like to also point that you go to the beginning of your page the first page or the uh, a front cover of your admission your record file fill all the details remember it is full time or part time date of admission and all other details that you can find there very very important and lastly please do not touch academic records for no reason must you touch academic records don't go and fill your courses don't go and fill your credit units no nobody sent you that one i sound this again as i close do not touch any other thing apart from the pages described in this video any page that is not described in this video is not meant for you but for students record uh, exams and record officers to fill thank you very much for watching this is Dr. Lossi, and we meet again in my subsequent sessions